Paul, welcome back to a new video. Farah's Anjum with you today, aka Frosty Vlogs. So today I'm going to be making a video about what FEPS is like at University of Nottingham. So that is a course I am currently undertaking. So it stands for Foundation Engineering with Physical Sciences. It's basically a um, so year you take just before you do like the first year of mechanical engineering. So this is year zero basically. And I'm just going to tell you what it's like from my point of view, what we study, what the atmosphere is like basically. Boom. Back, I made it to the A and B building. So this is where all my lectures and seminars are for my subject, which is FEPS, as I said multiple times. So right with me, you're just gonna walk with me and see what it's like inside the building. It's called the A and B building. It's beautiful, absolutely state of the art stuff. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, just take a look at that view. Take a look at that. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, a lot of people ask me why I chose to do this course. And for that, there's many different reasons why. Number one is, I came from a BTEC background. So my knowledge of maths and certain subjects is very low compared to A-level students. So I felt like I'll struggle at university if I do first year and stuff. So that's why I chose to do foundation. And Nottingham University is a Russell Group University. It's up there. And the best part about this course is, oh, I'm out of breath. The best part about the course is, is there's something called the open door policy. So whenever you have a question or anything, you can just pop down to the office of all the lecturers or anything and email them and they'll gladly help you. They'll always help you give you an answer and they'll help you with exams and stuff. Like if I ever have a question or something, I could pop down to the office and they'll just help me out like a day before my exam, like so beneficial. You just have to take advantage of this because the lecturers are so nice as well. They're so approachable and they're just such nice people, inside and outside of uni. Also, a lot of people say, ask what's the course like, like it's foundation, is it easy, is it hard? And I'm gonna give you my honest point of view as a student here in my second semester. It's still a university degree, it's still, it's, it's, you're still at university, it's not easy, you still have to work for it. So there's a lot of work that goes into it and stuff, so it's not as easy as people think. That's just how life is. And also, a lot of people say, what type of things you study within the course, da da da, foundation engineering with physical science, what does that mean? So here's my answer to you. So within the course, there's a variety of modules. So you'll cover mechanics, electronics, maths, coding, and a project you want to do in the future. So let me elaborate on that. For example, um, say if you want to be an electrical engineer, semester two, you could choose the electrical module. So you could get insight of what it's like in that field. So for next year, you know what you want to do. So it gives you an insight of what you want to do next year, basically. So it's very beneficial. So this course really opened my eyes up to the engineering world and even computing and maths, all that type of stuff for so many different reasons. Because this course doesn't just take you to say mechanical engineering and that's it. It takes you to so many different types of courses, different types of engineering. For example, this can help you get into chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, artificial intelligence, and physics, maths, like all these type of courses. And when I came to uni, I wanted to be a mechanical engineer. Then after learning more about it from actual professionals, people that know their stuff, I've come to the conclusion I want to change. So I'm, I want to do civil engineering. So for semester two, the module I chose was the civil engineering one. So I get insight of what it's like for next year, my first year of university. Well, year one. So right now we're in year zero. One hour later. It's me again, and I'm just gonna interview one of my favorite lecturers, Mo, Hello. about what the course is like. So you'll see that in a second. So boom, as you can see, my favorite lecturer, Mo, and he's gonna explain to you what the course is like from his point of view. Um, so from a lecturer's point of view, mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to like this. <laughs> oh, what is it? Um, the course is very um, intensive. It's basically um, two years of A-levels um, in nine months. Um, yeah, yeah. Third of the course is maths. Um, and students should have about 21 hours of contact. That's what we expect students to uh, um, to be doing uh, on mm -hmm. a weekly basis and mm -hmm. um, add to uh, add to that all the weekly submissions for your maths and um, all the bi-weekly submissions for the assignments in maths and the rogos 
and uh, we don't have much time left. Uh, the course is a great um, stepping stone to first year though. Um, students who come from diverse backgrounds, our BTEC um, students, our international students, um, as well as uh, students who've um, you know, taken gap years, so mature students, um, and students who didn't perform as well as they could have uh, on A-levels. Uh, are you ticking all the boxes? <laughs> yes, you ticking all of them. Yes. Anyway, I'd just like to say that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. And sir, can you sign off for me, please? Thank you very much. Uh Woo! Bumps, Megan, and I just want to let you know if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to follow my YouTube channel, it's called Frosty Vlogs. There'll be a link in the description, and you can add up my socials as well if you have any questions regarding the course. Or you could just email the university, seeing like, what's this, what's that? If you have any questions or any important queries, just let us know. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.